I've had a bunch of people asking me about my pack. This is the Beta Flight FPV backpack. Uh, I've had it for a few months and I've had time to really break it in and get everything where I want it. It's set up the way I like it. Uh, this is just an extra quad on here for demonstrative purposes, but you can easily fit three quads right on the front here. There's places for two quads here and here and if you wanted you could actually put an additional two quads on either side for a total of seven quads on the outside and that's not even top of, talking about putting an extra on the top but I, uh, I don't put an extra on the top I normally just have two or three quads right here on the front uh, and that's how I operate most days um, what I really like about this pack is it allows me to pop off my quads and get my goggles and transmitter out super fast. In here I've got my Tango 2 and I've got my Fat Sharks. Already got the antennas on, everything's ready to go. So if I want to do some Gorilla Rips, hit a pack and run, uh, everything is ready and accessible for me. Um, get this other quads out of the way uh, in here is my battery stack um, I I need to charge still I've still got some deads in here but I can fit 12 uh, 1300 6s packs in here which are huge if you're running like a 4s 1500 pack you can probably fit like 16 ish in this area um, it's nice. A bunch of people say they don't use this pouch for shit or they just stick props in it. Uh, this is like the perfect place for me. Again, my, my methodology with this bag and going to a proper FPV bag was that I wanted everything that I use on a normal, like I'm just going to start flying, to be on the outside of the bag so that I can just grab my shit and go. Um, so like quads pop off with one clip one zipper and I've got the transmitter and the goggles out and if I need batteries they're all right here as well uh, so that to me was like the big thing uh, also on the outside I've got a bunch of tools in here um, in here I've got my hexes and my dr this is like one of those 14 and one screwdrivers I use it as a prop wrench mostly but it's got Phillips and stuff on there as well um, on the other side, you've got a similar pocket, uh, water bottle holder, and an extra strap for really big water bottles because I'm drinking a ton of water out here in the heat. Uh, on this side, I've got my portable soldering iron, and this is my uh, kit that I used for, uh, it's just an analog receiver you can plug in to USB, and I use this for spectators all the time. Instead of having a second pair of huge bulky glasses or goggles, I used to carry on box goggles for them. Instead of carrying that all the time, I can just plug this into my cell phone and they can see what I see without having to strap some weird thing to their head. Uh, so I, I'm definitely a big fan of that just because it's so small. Uh, there's zip ties in here and some other stuff. Uh, let me, just a second, I'll turn this bag around and show you the rest of it. Um, over here is the main compartment and open it up i got a ton of stuff in here and this is not how i pack every day but i uh i've got this stuff is all convertible so this is a whole transmitter multi-protocol transmitter the uh tiny whoop that i just got from tom servo that i really appreciate thank you all the batteries the charger for it spare props all that uh in here is the main compartment and these are all adjustable. I took out several of the pieces that go in this space uh, so that I could fit the big boy in there. Uh, I've got another drone in here too. This is the Mavic Mini from DJI in a 3D printed case. I guess I'll just open that up and show you. And the controller for the Mavic and 3D printed uh, gimbal guard. It's in there. Uh, this is my field charger. I love this charger, this toolkit, uh, M6D. It's a dual charger that's super tiny. Uh, I had the regular M6 and I loved it. 
but it was only a single charger and this is the dual. Uh, another FPV monitor, uh, Bama Drone just gave me this one. I have not really used it a whole lot yet, but it's easy to use and it fits. Again, there's tons of room in here. On my normal FPV days, uh, I don't need to fill all this space. I usually just have the Mini Mavic in here and the charger and maybe one or two things in here with the other dividers. Um, and I, I just don't, don't utilize that much of it on the average day. I don't need a pack to be completely full on my average day. Um, now if I go on a trip, I love having the extra space so I can just fill it out. Um, down here is a removable battery bag and I, I almost never take this thing out. I'm going to take it out for y'all. But I normally just leave it unzipped in the bottom all the time. It's just in place waiting for me. But in here I've got a 10,000 milliamp hour field charge pack. This is what goes with the field charger. I can charge about six uh, of the 6S packs off of this uh, using that. So that's just goes with me all the time. So instead of 12 packs, I'm carrying 16 packs, I guess. Uh, the rest of this is my random battery stuff. Uh, these are just USB battery banks. I use them all the time. Uh, they charge my cell phone. They charge the Mini Mavic. They charge the Mini Mavic controller. They charge the GoPros. They charge the uh, Tango 2. Any of that USB stuff, I uh, highly recommend anything that you buy, you get Quick Charge 3.0. Um, that way you get that fast, fast charge on your stuff. Um, yeah. What else is in here? Uh, spare goggle battery. This is just a pair of 18650s. And it's got a push button volt checker. I made this. Um, Spare battery for the Mavic Mini. Um, spare batteries for my GoPro. Charged up and ready to go. And spare USB cables. Uh, what else is in here? Uh, this is pretty cool. I like this. Uh, some of my tools are already in the house and I don't have them in here. Like my snips usually go right there. Uh, but this guy is a... XT60 XT60 to XT30 adapter for charging goggle packs and stuff like that. Uh, this one is XT60 to USB quick charge 3.0. So like if I didn't have two battery banks already, I can plug this into any of my uh, flight packs and charge the cell phone off of it. Uh, pretty dope. Made that myself. Uh, what else is in here? Uh, MMCX to SMA pigtails because I break those all the time. I've got a couple of them in the bag. Uh, long range antennas. These are just huge, ridiculously long stems. Uh, if I feel like, hey, I need to send it. Uh, little stubby ones. Uh, more USB cables. You always need those. Uh, SD cards. Spare SD cards. I keep like a 128 gig in my phone and in my uh, GoPro. And so I don't really change my cards that often, but I'm constantly like realizing I forgot one or I don't have one in my DVR or something like that. Um, oh, this whole thing is removable. Sorry. I'm not good at holding shit and doing shit at the same time. So this whole thing comes off. I don't really remove it that often though. You can. I got a ton more stuff packed inside of here. There's spare arms. Spare ESCs, all conformal coated and ready to go. Spare straps. Gotta love the camera butter. I got a bunch of camera butter stuff. Uh, this is the GoPro L LCD screen protectors. Uh, regular lens protection. Screen wipes. More flat stuff. Yeah. Uh, what else? This out of the uh, This is supposed to be a laptop holder. I don't need a laptop. I don't carry a laptop. So it's my prop bag and I got a lot of props. And you guys know me. I mostly fly uh, this year. I mostly fly the gem fan 51466 props. Uh, so there's piles and piles and piles and piles of those. These are just what I carry for 
you know, a bando day. Uh, I got a couple other props in here I'm experimenting with or testing out. These are the uh, Azure uh, 5148Cs. I like Azure props. Uh, they tend to be a little amp hungry, uh, but I haven't tried these yet. The last Azure props I bought, though, were the Johnny props, and they would just explode midair for no reason, and that really upsets me, and I don't don't like that. So I d hadn't flown Azure all year long, and I'm going to give them another shot with this new model. Uh, 51466, again, these are my bread and butter. That's my everyday. And then I've got 51477s. Uh, these just came out, and I just got them from Team Black Sheep, and I want to give them a test and see if, uh, if they are any good. Um, what else? Oh, other stuff. Bonus. So, you know, you're always out with your gear, and you got, you know, I don't know. There might be a couple thousand dollars worth of stuff here on this table already. Uh, but you get caught in the rain, you can whip out your beta flight bag cover. And this thing, I've, I've never actually taken it all the way out because I don't want to fold it because I'm lazy. But it will cover the whole bag plus quads if you get stuck in the rain and you don't want all your shit to get soaked. Uh, I can formal coat, so it's really not a concern for me normally, but it's nice to have it. Um, also, you may notice that most of my bag has been dyed green. I I love green. What can I say? I'm a green machine. Uh, the original bag was bright yellow like a bumblebee, and that's definitely not my style. So I went in and changed it all. I got some fabric pens and just spent a whole night on the couch dyeing it. Marker style. They're Sharpie fabric pens if you want to do that yourself. But this is a... Uh, a lot of stuff for one bag. Um, let me know if you have questions. Um, I did look at the um, the bag everybody else recommends, the Torval. I really feel like Torval gives away a lot of bags to reviewers, and then reviewers have lots of nice things to say because they just got a $200 bag for free. But um, I wasn't that impressed when I looked at them that close. The big thing for me, again, is I want to be able to get all the stuff I use on every day, like my goggles, my transmitter, my quads, my batteries, all out super quick and super easy, not having to take the bag off and open the main compartment and get into there. Like To me, that main compartment should be like, I need to go charge something, I need extra of this or extra that or spare parts or, yeah. And all my regular tools and stuff are just easily accessible right on the outside of the bag. Um, really this pocket right here is where I do most of my work um, yeah but the Torval what else did it have it had a knee pad I think they call it a pants protector or something it literally while you're working on the ground you can fold out an extra piece of plastic and put your knees on it that's not me. I don't need that shit. I will put my fucking knees on the ground if I need to put my knees on the ground. I'm not wearing uh, my suit out for an FPV run. Uh, <laughs> the other thing that they have that I like that is super simple is a magnetic uh, screw holder. And literally all you need to do is put a magnet inside of a pocket and then you can throw your screws at it and you'll have that too. So, and... <laughs> I don't even think that that's really necessary. It's just kind of nice to have. But yeah, looking at this, looking at uh, the low pro bags, looking at the beta flight bag, I tried and tried and tried to not spend 200 bucks on a bag and I finally said, fuck it. I'm invested in this hobby. This is gonna improve my workflow and this is gonna change the way I operate every single day. For me to go from a crappy old lap Swiss laptop bag to a proper FPV bag has saved me time every single day. Um, I'm not trying to tell everybody they need to go spend 200 bucks on a backpack. Uh, you don't. You can get away with a regular school backpack or a laptop backpack or something like that. But when you are doing it every day and you're doing it professionally and you're you're out there every single day, man, it's just invest in yourself, dude. Don't don't. Uh, don't sell yourself short, you know, to be cheap. I, I started out super cheap. 
And the further and further and further I got into this, the more I realized that I was hurting myself buying Isheen shit all day and as cheap as I could get. And I'm realizing that there's a lot better gear out there. You don't have to start at the bottom. Uh, and there's my air conditioner turning on, so I better wrap this shit up. Love you guys.